All right, well, hello everyone. Again, we are in the shop tonight. We are working late. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is one of my favorite places to be. The phone stopped ringing, it's quiet. It's just me and my puppy dog who is trying to tempt me with this ball. You gonna growl at me? <clears throat> oh yeah, she wants that ball. That's her ball. So we've got a wheel dilemma now. Mark my words, I didn't say a real dilemma, but a wheel dilemma. I'm going to show you in just a sec. All right, so we're working in the shop tonight, and we got our micro cars lined up here. We have our 1970 N600 with the sport bike engine, and we have behind that our 72 Z600 with the normal engine, but lots of kind of accessories. And behind that, we have my daily driven van, which I've been using all winter long. And it's dirty and really, really ugly at this point in time. But I'll come to what I've what I'm going, got going on there. We have a lot of wheels here, as you can see. Now, when I first painted this car during the summertime, this Smurf blue, or what a lot of people call powder blue or sky blue, a lot of people did not like my wheel choice. In fact, many people did not like my red wheels with the white white walls. I don't know. I think that's a pretty color combination. Kind of goes with the car. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I had this in mind uh, all along, but I just didn't have time to put them together until last week when I did the great big wheel restoration project. So I now have blue rims that match the blue car on new tires. And I've got these hubcaps, which I haven't cleaned up yet, but they're supposed to go in the center and they will look something like that, they're dog dish. So there's a little bit of chrome there, they'll look pretty good. And I think these wheels are gonna go on this car. That is, unless you've been following along and you noticed that I restored these magnesium wheels. They're a little wider, inch or so wider, and they have really sticky tires, brand new tires as well, and they look pretty good on there. Um, so I don't know, I'm a little, bit tossed up between the red with the white walls, the magnesium mag mags that are pretty rare and actually authentic made for these Honda 600s, or just the blue stalkers. And to top it all off, <laughs> I've got to do some more wheel stuff. So these two cars are essentially the same, same bolt pattern as is the van, but the van has disc brakes that need a, a larger diameter wheel. And these wheels here, these 12 inch wheels with the spot mirror hubcap. Again, that's the spot mirror you would buy to put on your mirror, kind of dolled up as a hubcap. Chrome lug nuts, they actually belong on the van. And these Dunlops that are really dirty with the white walls and the chrome wheels were on this car for a long time. I thought I would doll up the van and put these on. They're very low profile. They're 175, 50, 13s uh, on my van, but it drives terrible. The amount of sidewall is just not enough to cushion the bumps. Um, this van is capable of going 80 miles an hour, and with the short wheelbase, it drives awful with these wheels and tires. I put a couple thousand miles on them, and I'm just done. So I want to put these wheels, the original van wheels, back on this van. And then I've got to choose which wheels to put on the blue car. And I think I'm going to go with the blue ones and just see how that looks to get a feel for it. So that is our dilemma. It's a wheel dilemma, as I have just expressed. And maybe you could leave me a note to what you think might be the best fit. Also, the exhaust is going to go on this car so we can actually hear it run. And Stella is determined to chew up her soccer ball. Look at that. What's going on there? Hey, give me that. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. All right, we'll play with the dog later. We're gonna play with our cars now and put our wheels on and just see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. And uh, thanks for being interested in my little projects.